What's going on everyone? Welcome back again to another Fox Tech video and in this one we're gonna address an issue which might be frustrating and some iPad users are complaining about this and that is the screen color glitch. Whether you're seeing different like odd lines or distorted colors of your screen, your iPad's display just might look off. I'm gonna help you troubleshoot and understand what's going on so let's just get started. And first, let's talk about more severe cases of screen glitches. If you notice a green line of pixels running through your screen or something similar like artifacts like this, well, this doesn't seem to be working correctly. It could be a hardware issue. This type of problem can occur if your iPad has been dropped or physically damaged and in some cases, it might even be a fault right out of the box. If your iPad has suffered physical damage or has a hardware fault, the best course of action is to take it to the Apple Store or the other retailer where you purchased it. Apple's basic warranty or coverage should handle some screen replacements for this, these type of issues. Unfortunately, screen replacement is not something you can do at home, of course, so professional repair is the safest option. It's also crucial to check for these issues before buying a secondhand iPad. So go through all the settings and browse through different, like tap on the screen everywhere. Make sure that the entire display is responsive and free of any visible glitches. This precaution can save you a lot of trouble down the road. Now, let's consider another scenario where your iPad screen appears to have a color glitch, but it might actually be due to enabled color filters or other settings. iPads come with accessibility features that can alter the screen's appearance, making it look like there's a glitch when it's just a configuration issue. So to check and adjust these settings, you need to go to the settings app on your iPad, then find the accessibility section and tap on a display and a text size. Here you'll find several options, which is going to include smart invert and classic invert. So these can be enabled and make the screen look a little bit odd. So turn them off if you don't like it. And another setting to look for is the color filters, which is just below this. So if the color filters are turned on, they can significantly alter the appearance of your iPad's colors. And to ensure that your iPads look and the colors look correctly, make sure to disable the color filters. So just toggle it off and your iPad should return to its normal appearance. If you follow the steps, you can determine whether you have a physical damage on your screen or if the settings are just incorrectly set up. So do whatever you gotta do, but these are the options. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I will catch you in the future. Peace out until then.